Hi everybody, welcome back to another CYT Crypto episode. My name is Stephen Aitchison and today we'll be going over the markets. We'll be looking at a couple of news stories and um, looking at three coins that could potentially jump up 70% in this market climate. If it changes, obviously it's totally different. Uh, we're looking at that as well, as well as chatting to you and having a bit of coffee as well. But before we start, if you can go down to the like button, hit that like button just now. It's really helping the channel and the channel is growing all the time. As well, you've seen the advert there for the crypto exchange Bitstack. You have got until the end of March to sign up and get some free crypto there. You get some BXBC, um, which is a cryptocurrency that's going to be the kind of native token for Bitstack. If this goes as big as the likes of Binance, it could be worth a lot of money in the future. So it's worth signing up. I think, I believe now you get about a thousand to sign up. And if you complete the KYC process, you get around 4,000 BXBC. So it's definitely worth it for some free crypto and it could be worth a lot of money in the future as well. I'll get some as well if you sign up with that link down below for it. So that would be good if you could do that. It supports the channel at the same time. Okay, so we're just going to start just now on me second. Let's crush the likes, everybody. Right, I'm just going to see if we're live. Make sure we've got... We are. Okay, who's in the house? We have Olo, I'm just going to put my glasses on. Olo Bramblebert is in the house. Tim Gash is in. Welcome to you. Justin Churchill, Stephen King. Rob UK is in the house. Welcome to you, Rob. Good to see you, buddy. One of our brilliant admins. High Plains Drifter is in. Mr Swanfield is in. Uh, finally, I can see a live stream. Excellent. Good to have you here. Um, always good to get new faces here. Mervyn Skidmore is in the house. Um... Gareth Passage, Gordy Boy Scotland, uh, Marcus Jafari, Axel Marquinhos, Cookie is in. Good to see you. Um, Marquinhos is saying, got my candy. Excellent. And somebody said, Gordy Boy Scotland, morning, liked your trading video. Just a pity it was XRP. LOL. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, so that was a trading um, video um, for um, the triangles of talking about um, um, technical analysis. Uh, so I've done a video yesterday if you want to go and check that out as well. Uh, hi Stephen, everyone, long time no see. Glad to be back. It's good to see you back, Gareth. Um, Erin Skidmore, a Harmy Hearties. Uh, finally can see a live stream said that. Uh, hi Points Drifter, hello from Sydney. Who else is in? Stormkeeper is in. Don't think I've seen you before. Good morning to you, Rob UK. The daddy is back soon, um, soon on the compound style with your amazing calls. Excellent, Rob. Excellent. So Rob is going to start. He's been kind of working hard and um, been really busy, but it's good to see you back uh, again, Rob. I know you've been kind of in and out, but it's good to see you, mate. Axel, got candy as well, thanks. Excellent, excellent, <laughs> excellent. That's excellent, Axel. Okay, so we'll just take a look at what's happening in the markets just now. We've got 140. God, I might can't speak. Right, chill it. I'm just going to calm it down a wee bit because I'm getting excited again. Too much coffee. This is my third cup of coffee. It's not good. And it's strong Colombian coffee as well. Right. Chill. <laughs> $134 billion market capitalization just now. We've got Bitcoin dominance at 51.3% just now, which has stayed the same. We've got Bitcoin price of 3914 It's kind of just going sideways at the moment. Nothing much happening there. But we're obviously seeing a lot happening in the kind of alt market as well. We'll just look at that in a second. Who is up? Zcoin is up 42%. Crypto.com chain is up 40%. Uh, Maximine coin is up 32%. Komodo is up 24%. Bitcoin Diamond, Aurora, VeChain, Electronium, KuCoin, Aeon, Digibyte, Bitcoin Cash. Loads of them in double digit figure greens. Who's in the red? Theta is down 14.84%. That's had a massive run-up. We were talking about Theta this morning in a premium group. I still think that could go up some more. ABBC coin is down 10%. That's had a big run-up as well. So 5% in the red, or 6% in the red, 94% in the green um, for the markets today in the top 100. We'll just take a look overall. This is everywhere. Um, view all. It's going to take a wee while to load. So we'll go volume over 10k. And this is how we look for some of the hidden gems as well. 
and see what's happening. Takes a while to load. It's just processing just now. I thought I'd done it before, so I do apologize. Nah, it's too slow. We'll keep going. Have a bit of patience. Right, so who is at the top? So over the last 24 hours, I've traded over $10,000 worth. We've got Tidex token. is up 360%. Up 460% over the last hour. Tidex token, we've got a volume of 148,000. So that's a good volume there. Circulating supply is only um, 9 million. So it's 500. So it's only 6 cents, sorry. Uh, with a market capitalization of 576,000. Only half a million. And so that's pretty amazing that. Pigeon coin <laughs> up 94%, 196% on the week. Um Capricoin is up 60%. Uh Unomia, that's on 13%, uh, 13,000 volume. Digifinex token, DFT, 1.7 million volume, up 49%. Could be worth looking into. Game stars seven hundred eighty one thousand up forty six percent. RLC is up as well. So it's always good to look at this. So always check that out in Coin Market Cap. Good to look for hidden gems. This could be a good one. Tidex token. Um, and we'll do a very, very, very quick analysis there. And very, very quick. Very, very quick. So we have the market cap, we've seen that half a million, got volume 148,000, which is really good. Ah, it's only got 10%. So its total supply is 99 million, but we've got a circulating supply of 9 million. So you've got 10% circulating supply. Don't like that. Um, so that would be a red flag for me straight away. Markets, there's on. Tidex, obviously, it's a Tidex um, kind of native token. Social. What they're doing on social, March the 5th, October the 23rd to October the 18th, now another red flag. So two red flags in a row there for me. So I'd still kind of check it out, but nah, not liking the look of that. Okay, just thought we'd look at that. Um, okay, we have, I'm just going to... Look at some of the charts here as well. And we'll go to BTC USD. No, we're not. We'll go to BLX. I'm using BLX now. 3878. Uh, this is on the daily. Still looking to come out of this um, kind of triangle. This ascending triangle. We spoke about ascending triangles yesterday. And it's coming out of that. Just now, 3878 at the moment. It's up 0.24%. Where can we expect? It was hoping to get to 4000 by now, but it's not got there. Just not quite making it there for some reason. So, still looking just to see kind of what happens here with um, Bitcoin. We're having a run on the alts just now. Hopefully, that will continue with the alts. So, this could be alt season, but it might only be a couple of days. We had this. Um, uh, last month as well, we had a couple of days where the alts were going up, so hopefully it can last a wee bit longer than that. But as long as Bitcoin is stable, don't mind the the alts run. Who's tops? Got Komodo. We'll just look on Binance just now as well. So we've got RLC that had a big, big, huge run up. Uh, we can see that there as well when it comes up. Had a big run up and then it's come back down a wee bit. It's just starting to go back up again. We had Zcoin going up as well. So another 100 percenter. Komodo was that 100 percenter as well. I don't think it was 100 percenter. No, it wasn't quite 100 percent. Run up 60 percent though on Komodo. Gas is up 13 percent. Zero AX is up. Bet is up as well. So we've got. An altcoin kind of rally just now. A lot of the altcoins are running just now. And that's what I want to speak about first. Um, first three kind of... I'm going to pick three coins. I sh I'm show you three coins. It could potentially go up by 70%. And I'll kind of share with you why I think they're going to go up. 
I'm going to show you four actually. I'm going to show you T TRX first of all. And this is not one I think will go up 70%, but I think it's going to go up very soon. And I want to show you the kind of trading um, pattern on this as well, unless it's already run up. No, it's not. Stayed the same. So what we've got here just now um, with TRX, we've got a brilliant setup actually. We've got a brilliant setup with a great stop loss. Um, so what we can do here, if we could really change this, we've got a symmetrical triangle here kind of formed. Uh, we'll just take a, a closer look. This is on the daily, we'll do it on the four hourly. So you can see it more closely. So we've got a symmetrical triangle here coming out. It's closing round about a couple of days time, it's going to close off. That's symmetrical. Um, I know we like the symmetrical triangles. We've got a, a great setup on XRP as well. So we've got this with TRX as well. And it's coming to a close very soon where it's going to break down or it's going to break higher. Normally you go with the trend. When we've got a symmetrical triangle and we're looking for a breakout, we've normally got um, a kind of breakout to the downside because the trend is down just now with TRX. But with the current market conditions and the current market climate, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a break upwards and that's what we're kind of expecting just now. Obviously there's upwards movement, a wee bit upwards movement there as well with TRX. So the good thing about this is you can set a really, really tight stop loss. So the risk to reward ratio is really, really good with this. So you could potentially just set a stop loss of around about even 560. So you've got, uh, I've kind of put it, I've called this in the premium group, um, by the way, and I've set a stop loss slightly below that, but I've said you could even do kind of 561 or 560 for the stop loss which is uh, 560, a 2% stop loss. So your risk, so if you put $1,000 in, you're risking $20, but it could go up by as much as, we'll just kind of have a look. Yeah, I'm going to kind of put this wick up here. If we see that, it kind of breaks out round about here. Could go up to 647. Let's say 647. So that's only 10% jump there, but expected to go higher than that once it starts moving as well. But the risk to reward ratio on TRX just now is really, really good. And this is what we're looking for. So if you can risk only 2%, but potentially gain kind of 10% or 20%, I'm expecting um, TRX to go back up by about 30, 40%, up to around about 700. So 700 from here represents about 25% ish. 23-24%. So the risk to reward ratio on TRX is really good. Okay, the three coins, it could do 70%. I'm just going to make sure we're uh, okay. Right, okay. Three coins. The first one is HC. Um, HC, BTC. So it's Hypercash. Got a lot of news coming out. And they've got the hail platform coming out as well. And I think this could go much, much higher um, over the cut. But I'd say this was over the coming kind of weeks, um, I would say, with this. But I do expect this. Again, there's a cup and handles kind of forming all over the shop um, just now. And this one could do the cup and handle as well. So from here, we're looking at to go up to there about 60%-ish um, because it's went up already since we kind of called it. I think I called it round about this price actually, 34 or 35 it might have been. So we've got a cup and handle forming here. If we look at this, not a perfect formation of a cup and handle, You're kind of coming back down and going back up again. So we're looking at about 60-70% from here for the cup and handle and I think this is going to form um, on a lot of the kind of altcoins just now and it is starting to form actually, we're starting to see that. So that's the first one, Hypercash. I think that's going to go up. It's got a lot of um, fundamental news coming out as well. Um, I think it's going to be good for a jump up from here. It's already went up. I think it was about 16% um, HC. Let me just have a look. HC. 3, 4, 6. So it's up, say, 11% just now, but I still think it's going to go much higher. So that's the first one. The second one I've been speaking about as well is LRC. I go to BTC. 
blue blink for the same thing, for the same reason. We've got it at 1648 just now. I've called in a premium group already. And again, we've got a perfect kind of formation of the cup and handle kind of formation coming up here. If it keeps on going that way and the current market conditions, I do expect that to happen. If the market conditions change, obviously this kind of completely blows out the water. But if the current market conditions stay, I think this is what I'm expecting from LRC um, over the next week or so. So I think that's going to happen. I said yesterday as well, somebody was talking about it and I said yesterday, I think this is what's going to happen. We're going to see a 70% play from here. So if it gets up and we'll just go to measure from here to get to 2,900, we've got 76% play. Um, so this is um, just, I'm totally biased in this one as well because I'm in, I've seen this formation. I thought, oh, this is, this is too, too juicy not to get in on it. So I've got in on this one and get rid of that. And the last one is 0AX. And we'll look on that, BTC. And again, it's the same thing. If we look at the cup and handle formation, they could be forming in current market conditions. We could be getting there. Another, so far, kind of formation of this cup, cup and handle. They could be forming. And we've seen so many of these over the last couple of weeks, and they've really played out. Plus, we have this recency effect that back in the 21st of January, this kind of went to its high of the year, and I expect that to happen again for Open ANX um, as well. So that's the three that I think could go up by 70%. You've also got TRX that could go up as well. So it'd be good to get your thoughts on this. Even if you're watching on the replay, just let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on this as well. Take that off. So the three that we're talking about is Hypercash, we've got Loop Ring, and we've got Open ANX as well. That's the three that I think are going to go up by 70%. Okay, we'll just go back to the chat. Um, who is in? Nick Smith say KMD is smashing it. It is smashing it. Njambi K is in. Good morning to you. Paul Jordan is in. Good morning to you. Good to see you here. IoT Financial. Nice to see you back. And David Schwartz, good morning to you. Richard Cooper, Mitch Deiter is in. Mervyn Skidmore, Paul, which will end first? Or is that a poll? Uh, Bitcoin bear market or Brexit or the DFS sale? <laughs> um, ben Paul Gardy is in the house. Uh, morning all, crush the likes. Crypto Knowledge Alliance, one of the brown admins. James is in the house as well. Good to see you here. Nicky Sheldrake is in. Uh, morning Steve, I'm early today. Excellent. Uh, G Slick VT, nice run. VT's had a brilliant run as well. Vin, good morning to you. Good to see you here. Stephen King, any chance of looking at MCO chart? MCO chart is really good as well. I was kind of been looking at that over the last couple of weeks actually. MCO and BTC. I was looking at the retracement levels. Um, kind of called that um, for the premium group as well. So I've updated the premium calls as well. I'm just going to go to that just now and just show you, but we'll go back to the chart in a second. So this is a premium calls I've kind of made. A lot of them have jumped up already, so um, I'm, I can show you these. I've no qualms about showing you these. I just made a couple of calls this morning. But average gain is 27% um, just now. And I'll go down. So yeah, I've just updated this MCO called at 66,000 Satoshi. That was on the 2nd of March. It did get to 88,000, and um, but it was within 10 days. Um, so I couldn't call it any higher than that. I couldn't get any higher than that. Oh yeah, I did, I did, did it within the 10 days anyway. So that was good. Again, that was another one that kind of did the cup and handle kind of formation. But MCO does look good. Long term, it looks brilliant. Um, long term, I wouldn't have any qualms at all about investing in MCO. I think it's going to be a brilliant one long term. I think they've got a good um, kind of business plan. And it's near as low as well. So it does look good. MCO for the short, medium and long term as well. Um, and you've seen the CRO token as well which looks really good. 
So yeah, um, I wouldn't have any hesitation in investing in that one. Um, Andreas is in. Good morning to you. Good to see you here. Vin, ontology looks as if it's breaking out. Cup and handle. Is this another cup and handle one? I've not seen that yet. Obviously not spotted it. Yeah, kind of tentative um, there on the daily. We'll look on the four hourly. It might be more clear on the four hourly. You could have one there looking at that. Oh. Didn't quite reach up there, coming down. Is that where we're looking? Or is it this one here? I don't know. Or is it a massive one we're talking about? So I'm not quite seeing the cup and handle there. Not as clear a formation, certainly. Not as clear a formation, but we could get one. There's you could get them kind of in various places actually. Then you could get that, so it could go back up to twenty-seven thousand for ontology. If that's what you're you're looking at. And um, that's was that Vin? Yeah, Vin. Um Mervin Skidmore, Vin for our chart, yeah. London Bobby, top of the evening in Saipan, or Saipan, business trip. Excellent. Good to see you here, London Bobby. Uh, Mike D, one of our brown admins, is in the house as well. Good to see you here. Late again. Ah, it's no good, Mike. It's no good. Um, G Slick is in the house. What's your thoughts on... <laughs> what's your thoughts? Kcash. Haven't looked at that, um, G Slick. Uh, Stellar Lumens, it's slowly creeping up. Yeah, it is. We're going to look at that as well. That's one of the news stories. Um... Daily chart mate for for that one for ontology. Right. Gath Passage got candy, thanks Steve. Excellent. Brilliant. Thanks for signing up. And you'll get some candy as well. A BXBC you'll get. What do you think of wax? Haven't looked into it, Alizar. Um or haven't looked into it deeply. Uh, I know all about obviously. APPC apparently has good news coming up. Um Ajmal, good morning. Oh APPC, that was a big kind of run up previously as well. Yeah, it's in a four hour, just look on the daily. It's good to get a macro view always. So if we look at this, and this is why I keep talking about the macro view, if we look at this just now, you'd kind of look at this chart and go, oh, it's just kind of risen quite a lot. But then if you go to the macro view and kind of go down, you can see it's near its all time low. It's coming off its all-time low. Is that 967? So it's doubled from its all-time low. But if you're just looking on a four-hour chart and kind of zooming in, you'd think, oh, it's risen too much already. I'm not going to get into that. But then if you look at the, the kind of macro view, it gives you a much better picture. So always better to zoom out um, when you're looking at these. Unless you're minute trading, of course. Um, so we're going to daily. Yeah, so APPC, you're saying, has good news coming out. So what's the kind of next resistance there? So we've got kind of clear resistance. This is on a daily of 3,196. So you've got a good percentage there to climb to get to your next resistance, about 60%. That would be the obvious next resistance there. So it could be a good one as well, especially if they've got news coming out. And you'll notice as well what's happening just now with the alts, that when news comes out, the, the alts are jumping. Um, so it's not based on kind of TA. It's not based, although you can still use TA um, because usually what happens even before the news comes out, it starts to climb. Obviously, there's insiders. It doesn't matter what you say. There is insider trading um, as well. Um, so it starts to creep up. So the TA tells you um, before news is coming out almost. And that's what's happening a lot just now. And so the news, there's good news coming out about a, a token, seeing it with engine. Um, coin as well. That was rumours that kind of started that, but um, no smoke without fire and all that. So that's what's happening with the alts just now. Um, so it does look good for APPC if you, I don't know where the news is coming out. Is Dash going the same way as GRS with the debit card news? Um, Dash has had a run up already. Uh, it's kind of broken previous resistance there. So we're looking again, we're looking at a new resistance level of kind of obvious one here for me would be, hmm, yeah, it'd be around about here. 
at um, 2.4 million would be the obvious one if you can break through that you've got another one up here at 2.6 million and then you're going up back again taking a macro view if we take the kind of macro view and see what it's been it's been at 8.9 million so four times or three times where it is from here just now so dash could be on its way up as well um, Adam Forrest is in good morning to you um, I'm going to take a look at um, Wax as well. I was looking at uh, Metamorph there. So they're on 97 Satoshi just now. Uh, they're climbing up. They kind of just they jumped up to 121, but it came back down since then. But they were at 82. Um, for long term, I do really like Metamorph. And they're coming out with more and more news all the time. And somebody done a video yesterday on it as well. I need to check that out. I've never seen it. Never watched it yet. But Metamorph is one of my long-term holds. Um, who else are we looking at? How do? I've seen Keith Waring done a video. I've not seen that either. 104 Satoshi. Just now for how do. So I need to check out Keith's um, video on that. See what he's saying. I just noticed that a notification coming up. Um, somebody else was talking about... Oh, it was wax. That's what I was going to look at. Wax. That's looking good as well. So past its um, previous resistance levels. So it's past that. So we're looking new resistance levels about 1685, which is a kind of run up of about 20%. Coming off its all time low, or close to its all time low, coming off. 885, so it's only 50% up from its all time low. So that could be a really good one. So we've got kind of resistance levels. The next one, the next obvious one, would be around about there. Resistance. Another kind of obvious one, around about there, at 2100. And it depends what they also are doing. So you could you could potentially uh, get double here, a hundred percent on wax. And from what we said ages and ages ago when we kind of first looked at wax, it looks like a good prospect. But I've never checked news recently or the team or what's been happening with wax. Um, okay, so we'll just go to a couple of news stories just now. So we've looked at the three coins that I thought would go up by seventy percent. That would hypercash, loop ring and open ANX. Xena. Xena launches leverage contract for yet to be released Telegram token. I thought this was interesting. It just came out um, a couple of minutes ago. And this is from news.bitcoin.com. The Telegram token has started trading as a perpetual contract on a London-based Xena exchange. On March the 12th, the crypto exchange launched a derivative contract for grams with up to 100x leverage. The Xena listed perpetual contracts are publicly tradable and are intended to provide liquidity for the gram token ahead of its release later this year. So this was a kind of this is good for the crypto sphere as well because obviously it's going to be listed and um, it's going to um, come out uh, with its own token, Telegram. So it's just good to get the name. Uh, or the crypto sphere is good for the crypto sphere as a whole because you're going to see it as a crypto token as well when it's um, kind of released later on this year. So Xena are kind of doing that just now. Telegram's billion dollar ICO, Telegram's um, TON blockchain project became one of the most successful initial coin offerings in 2018 after it raised 1.7 billion from private investors. The public sale was later suspended. Now Xena is billing its grand perpetuals as an opportunity for those who passed up the chance to invest to be able to earn dividends on the potential rate hikes through trading on the exchange. So I don't know if I'll do that, to be honest, but it could be really good. This could be a really good one. But it's getting more and more people talking about crypto as well because it's had its ICO already. This is why they pulled the public ICO as well because of the private investors, 1.7 billion. Stellar. Stellar debuts new logo saying goodbye to rocket ship, but it's keeping with the kind of space theme. So it's done that already, but if we look at Stellar just now, XLM, BTC, I think rebranding is always good for a company. We can see here it's near close to, well it is um, at its yearly low. 
Um, it was at Gilolo in 2085. It's kind of went up. It's jumped up. Was it jumped up about 30% since then? And that's since the rebranding or the, the logo design. So, which is essentially a rebranding um, of, of Stellar Lumens. So that's gone up and I think that could do well. I think Stellar Lumens is going to start picking up from here. It's crossed over on the daily, which is a good sign as well. Um, so yeah, I would start kind of looking at that again. So it's amazing what um, something like that can do. I thought this was interesting news. I've seen this the other day. I can't remember who posted it. I do apologize. Somebody posted it in the group, in the premium group or the free group. Uh, I've seen it the other day, but I've seen it again this morning. I thought, right, I'm going to post this and just talk about it. This was if you had invested $100 in each of these coins at the moment of their exchange listing, this is how much it would be worth today. If you invested $100 in Bitcoin back in 2010, um, it would be worth $1.3 million today for $100. If you'd invested the same in ETH back in 2015, it would or Ethereum, it would be worth $68,000. Uh, Dash would be worth $39,000. Um, Binance Coin would be worth $13,000. And that was only from 2017. XRP would be worth $6,000. XRM, $3,000. XMR or Monero. Uh, would be worth 2000 Litecoin 1000 Tron 1000 um, <laughs> BCH $24 if you'd invested $100 you'd have got $24 back uh, IOTA $44 and BSV $75 uh, so that kind of says it all really to be honest but they've only recently listed but that's not the point um, Cardano, you'd have got $218 for $100 invested. This is why I think Cardano is still at the very beginning of its um, climb for Cardano. I think if you invest now, I think five, ten years' time, you're going to be sitting pretty. That's uh, definitely one for the long term. Same with the EOS now um, as well. So I thought that was interesting to kind of look at that. Ripple. Ripple announces a 100 million blockchain gaming fund with Forte. So the company behind the, the XRP Digital Currency has announced plans to integrate blockchain technology with video gaming. To facilitate development on the project, Ripple will be working with Forte, a startup founded this year and backed by Coinbase Ventures, uh, Battery Ventures and other prominent Silicon Valley investors. So Ripple are looking to move into the gaming industry. So the broadening the kind of scope of what they're actually doing with Ripple Labs, which is a good thing um, as well. I think that's a really good thing for Ripple. Not so much for XRP, but they kind of go hand in hand. When you, when you hear about Ripple, you automatically think of XRP as well. So I think this could be good for XRP and obviously Ripple as well. Depends on where they go as well. Um, XRP Labs looks to introduce XRP payment plugin in WooCommerce's online stores. So again, I thought this would be good. Um, I think this is good as well to be able to take payments in XRP. Now I've got a, I've, well, I've got four or five blogs that I've used for years in the kind of personal development space and the kind of business space, and I've used kind of WooCommerce before as well. And there's a lot of WooCommerce customers. If you've not heard of them before, this is a, a kind of company that's been around for ages, and um, it's a kind of plugin for WordPress. WordPress is a brilliant kind of blogging platform and uh, brilliant software. So they've got thousands and thousands and thousands of customers on WooCommerce as well, if not more, uh, if not into the millions. Um, I don't actually know how many they've got, might have actually. I don't think it says there, actually. Yeah, around 3.3 million people across the world are using WooCommerce website at present date. So 3.3 million people will be able to get um, or take payment in XRP, which I think is brilliant for XRP. Obviously, another use case for it as well, which is what it's kind of really intended for. I think that's it for the news. There was other news I, I'm using just now, um, Crypto Compare for the news, for news aggregation. I was using another platform as well, but uh, I see this is, uh, it looks easier. And uh, it's got images. US SEC Chairperson Jay Clayton clarifies that Ethereum is not a security. We've heard that before. Litecoin displaying its true value in the current year. Ripple plans to issue XRP grants to video game developers. Just seen that there just now. Dash scores 10% higher. Foreign debit card integration backed by MasterCard and one another. 
Um, we've seen that as well. Electronium price surges as Huobi Global confirms ETN trading pairs. Excellent. Why is Crypto.com CRO token surge 380% in a couple of days? That's what I was wondering as well, to be honest. Why did it surge um, the token of Crypto.com? That's the CRO token. So I just wonder, Platform also offers several via the MCO Visa card now offers best cashback terms of any card on the market along with perks. This is why I think MCO are going to do amazing. I really think they're going to be amazing. I think it's going to be a long term one. I think they're, they're going to overtake um, get the likes of MasterCard uh, and that as well. So we need to wait and see kind of what happens there. Last week, Crypto got pay system went live, which is an issue at the run of its native ERC20 CRO token. It's had 400,000 app downloads and over 125,000 MCO Visa card registrations um, worldwide. Today's big spike, a big spike has come from a listing on uh, Indodax Exchange, which taps into a potentially massive new fiat market, Indonesia. Ah, I need to keep an eye out for Indonesian kind of listings as well in the future. Okay, go back to the chat, see what's happening there. MFT looks good on the daily. Uh, one second, I've missed a couple. G-Select Pundi X updated the wallet for the FX coin staking and conversation, a uh, conversion. Um, yeah, so the Pundi X conversion is going to happen um, as well um, for the, the new FX coin. Still not entirely clear on why they're kind of doing that, but Paul Jordan, any thoughts on IOTA? IOTA... From a technical point of view, this is on the daily. It's coming up just now to 7,340 and it's near this all time low, which I like. I always like that when it's near this all time low, 6430. That's not its all time low. You can see it's peaked down here, but that was a, a spike, so I wouldn't um, consider that its all time low. But close to its all time low. And you've got a good see here as well. This is what I like. And you can see these. This is what I was talking about yesterday. You can see these kind of here. I've got a clear descending triangle there. Now you might say, okay, a descending triangle usually signifies um, kind of a a kind of continuation of its current form just now, which is a continuation downwards. But I like these because you can put stop losses just to the baseline or just below the baseline. And um, so usually you can get one or two percent um, for the baseline. But it looks as if this could um, break out from here. Um, so it's using this as a resistance line, it's using this as a support line here, round about here actually. It's not quite there. Um, just depends. There it goes. So it's using this as a baseline. So around about 7,000. So you could put your stop loss just under 7,000 and you're not going to lose that much percentage. Why is how much would you lose there? So I'm talking about the risk to reward ratio here. So say 4%, you could put 4% risk for a potentially kind of big jump up back up to this level of 10,000, which is what, about a 40% 40, 40 jump. So risking 4% for the 40%. So 10 to 1, which is really good. Um, so it does look good from a TA point of view. Um, from a fundamental po point of view, I don't really know, to be honest. So yeah, I would say it does look good. Um, NFT looks good in the daily. Just have a quick look. NFT. It does look good in the daily. Um, 82 has come back down a wee bit just now. But it's trying to break through on the daily. It hasn't really done that since the 24th of October. Oh no, it has. I'm talking, talking mints. 30th of January, it kind of broke through again. So it could come back up to 102 levels. It looks as if it wants, wants to do that. It's coming off its all time lows as well. So that's another good one, uh, I think, as well. In my opinion, obviously, do your own research and all that. Uh, Lawrence Matthews, Steve, can you look at MetaHash? Uh, MetaHash. And second. G-Slick was asking me some Kcash. 
Just going to look at Kcash one second. I forgot to going to do that. Kcash. Never heard of it to be honest. Two point four million. I've uh, got nine hundred one thousand volume. That's good. Circulating supply is thirty four percent of its total supply. I've um, got one hundred and eighty Satoshi at the moment. Been trading since the fifteenth of January. Markets is on just now is Huobi Global. Good. And um, they've got most of the volume there. Social. As well announcement, Kcash is our strategic operation with stablecoin. 28th of February, they've not updated in two weeks. Not a good sign. For me anyway. For me, I just published weekly report on Kcash. Um, I just published weekly report. That doesn't suggest there's a one-man ban, but obviously it's not, I would imagine. Um, December the 28th, the, the social updates, that's a red flag for me. Um, with regards to social updates. Chat, I'm going to have a look at the chat as well. So we've got 19,000 members. There. Which would be good. Good sign, but obviously you'd have to check out the chat as well. So that's Kcash, haven't heard of it before. But I want to do that. Mervyn, um, sorry, Gisley could ask me before to take a look. Somebody else. ETN already on WooCommerce. Excellent. Gene, sorry, just checked in. Any advice what to do with KinSwap? Um, I'm not too sure. Can I, I've, I've just looked at that article. I've not got any kin myself. That's why I don't know, Gene. And I just looked at that article and kind of, I kind of told you what to do. But I'll keep keep hold of it for a couple of days, I think, uh, and just see what's happening with that until we get more information. So kin are obviously swapping over to their own um, their own blockchain. So, But you're not going to miss out if you keep hold of it for a couple of days, so I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, did it. Meta hash, that's what I was going to can I do. It? Meta hash, I've looked at this before as well, I think. MHC 14 million, and um, so it's not a hidden gem, or well, it's not a micro cap, and um, 2.4 million volume, which is good. Circulating supply 362 million, it's got 2 billion, and um, so the circulating supply is what 15. 15% of its total supply. Don't like that, that'd be a red flag for me. Markets, Bitforex, Bitforex, KuCoin, 237 social. 19 hours, token 2049, that's good. Uh, March the 11th, that'll be in Hong Kong. March the 7th, Coin Market Cap, March 7. So they're keeping their updates relatively good at keeping updates on Twitter. Chat. 40,000 members. That's good as well. So I would, I would dig into that more if I was kind of looking for, it's not a really hidden gem, I would say under um, 5 million hidden gem, but 14 million is still a low market capitalization. So yeah, I'll we'll dig into that more. And Digibyte using their Digi ID to pay your online shopping and stretch uh, street purchases. And um, as from G Slick, yeah, Digibyte, uh, I think uh, another one that could go up um, big time as well. I know you've been speaking about that for a while, G Slick. God about Scotland, Steve, I'm down 15% on Theta, but we'll get a fuel airdrop. Uh, would you pull out or let it run? Um, on Theta, uh, I spoke about this this morning. I think this is going to go back up. So just have a quick look. 3461. It was up higher this morning when I said it was going to, well, when I thought it was going to go back up. I can't remember the price um, I said, but I thought this was going to go back up. It's bouncing off the 0 0.5 level here. You can see there's clear support here for it. And around about 3250. If it went below that, I would kind of say at stop loss here, around about um, 3150 or something. I know that's quite a wee bit away. Where is that away from? 3150 would represent 8% stop loss. Um, you're, you're obviously going to get the tokens for it as well, but I think it's going to go higher. Just my opinion though. But set your stop loss, but I'll do it just below the support level here, which is three, about, about 3224. But we'll see if that goes higher. I don't know if that helps or not. What time are we on? 9.13. King1969, Larson is in. Good to see you here, buddy. Imran Chowdhury is in. Good to see you here. 
just a quick one. Many project CEOs, the biggest coins such as Cardano, Ontology, and many more, etc., are talking as we peak right now in the HK, HK at the Token 2047 conference. Price falls. Um, yeah, and had a pump from the conference from partnering with Cardano for helping Ada and in, in, uh, interoperability. Yeah, so we just kind of seen that about the 2047 um, as well. Yeah, so sorry, I was looking at something there. And the other way I chat would have been rerun, so in quarter one right now, 2025, check back on the chart in about 5 10 years, the names and ROI will be different and bigger. Yes, there will be. Reginald Bowler, good morning, love daylight savings time. In your opinion, is Engine a serious project or just another pump and dump scheme? Uh, no, I think it's a serious project. They've got a good team behind them, it looks like, um, and they're doing a lot of partnerships. So, yeah, I think it's a serious project. I uh, definitely don't think it's a pump and dump scheme. Definitely not a pump and dump scheme. Uh, I would say, in my opinion, from what I've seen, I've never dug hugely into it, or very, very deeply into it, but I've dug enough to say, get out and form the opinion. One sec. That's what happens when you're on live. Um, James Oklahoma is in the house. Welcome to you, one of our brown admins. Um, Crush the likes in Jean, Justin Churchill, Hello. Sierra. We're not oh. available now. Please leave your name oh, and phone number after the beep. Sorry about that. Um, Justin Churchill, hold MCO on their wallet and receive 5 um, CRO for every MCO you hold every month. You have to maintain or increase your holding for 12 months to receive CRO tokens. Best day to drop out there. Yeah, that's one of the things I kind of looked at this last month, MCO. And I thought this is going to be brilliant for the long term if we manage to get a hold of these for the long term with the staking as well. Um, and the fact that people have to hold them together. I just thought MCO looks brilliant. It looks a, an amazing one for the long term. I'm just going to see the capital market capitalization of MCO. 48 million. Uh, I think that's still low, but has obviously gone up as well. But I still think that is really, really low. Where has it been before? It's been at 237 million before. I think the highest is 242, 242 million market capitalization. So it has been higher, and still the fundamentals have changed, and I think it's going to go much higher um, than that. CRO, 211 million um, for CRO itself. It was previously 42 million. Obviously, that'll come down slightly. But yeah, I really like MCO, really like them for the long term. Um, Imran, descend a triangle with an ascending RSI is massively bullish. I don't check the, the RSI. I really don't check. I've never really um, been one to look at the RSI at all. I know a lot of people say you should and you should be kind of doing other things, but I don't. I just use the kind of crossover triangles uh, and kind of gut feeling. You get a gut feeling when you're trading the, the likes of Binance all the time and that's all you're trading on. You start to get and um, develop this kind of intuitive kind of level of trading as well where you can just look at the other, the kind of crossovers, for example, the triangles, and look at the kind of order books and stuff like that as well, and you develop a kind of gut feeling as well. I don't look at anything else apart from that. The RSI, if that kind of confirms it, that's brilliant as well. Um, explosive, all gone quiet on the BTT front, eh? Yeah, it has gone quiet on the BTT front, which is good. It's a good thing because that means when it starts to come back up, then it's going to, it's going to explode again. So we're looking at 20 Satoshi just now. We've got a support level there of about 18 Satoshi. So that is a good risk to reward ratio. They kind of updated yet. I don't think they will have. Yeah, they've not updated the circulating supply. We kind of worked out what it was. I'm going to do this again. I just I couldn't be bothered. <laughs> it was yesterday. And um, we'll go 11% of that. So we're going to get that times that times that by this price. Copy.
for goodness sake, man. So we'll go no point treble zero seven five two point one two three seven five two equals eighty one million. So <laughs> I just I don't know what's uh, going on yesterday, but 81 million, that's the current market capitalization of Bitcoin just now. We've only got 11% um, circulating supply, which is not good for me. Uh, I wouldn't kind of like to kind of do that, but um, 81 million is the market capitalization at the moment. A bit high. It is a bit high for this, but the potential is there as well. What we've got for 81 million, where does that place them? Kind of places them round about 61 or 62 so be above Ravine uh, be 62 position just now so yeah I still think this could go higher Oscar Ray is in the house Satoshi Sean Ken seems to really be doing a lot but quietly I use two apps that are utilizing Ken and pushing it hard as well as educating people on it excellent Satoshi Sean I think I got a message uh, an email from you I'm going to reply to you as well I do apologize just loads of things going on just now so I'll get back to you. And Satoshi Sean Metamorph, Apollo, Kin, or Phantasma? That question? I don't know if that's a question. What are your, oh, right. what are your top three small caps outside top 50 for long-term hold? Metamorph for me would be a good one. Apollo um, looks good as well. Kin would definitely be a long-term hold. Phantasma, I've not looked into that um, as well. I've got another one. Adbank would be a really good one um, for me. I think I really like the look of AdBank for the future and I think they're doing loads of good things just now. Blade's just come out with AdBank as well. And um, we'll just see what their market cap is. AdBank. 1.97. A one point uh, yeah, 1.97 million market capitalization, volume is 103,000. Um it has been as high as uh, it's not their market cap. Market cap's been as high as about 8 million. So four times from where it is just now. Um, but that was back in March. So I think AdBank are going to be a really good, a brilliant long-term um, one actually. Metamorph I definitely agree with as well. Um, small caps as well. How do? I think you can go wrong with how do as well. If they kind of get on board and they get on track, or if they're on track um, for everything that they're doing, I think they could be really good. Um, and the market cap is really low at the moment as well. And Digitex Futures as well could be a really good one. Uh, that could explode. Actually, that could really explode. Uh, I'm not in it myself. I was in it, uh, made some money on it, but I'm not in it at the moment. But that could explode as well. Um, Blockport could do really well as well. I don't know where BPTR just now with regards to market capitalization. Only six million. So still a small cap still a small cap but I do like that for the future as well has been at 33 million before that's just some of them um, Aeon looks like a good tip it has low max and circling supply and its fundamentals on interoperability plus a meeting with Cardano looks tasty excellent I looked at Aeon the other day on the charts um, as well and it looked really good it was just crossing over and looked to be up and coming yeah crossed over coming from its all-time low and looks a really good one for a call actually and it's only 3830 so yeah I seen that yesterday I didn't actually call it but it does look good and definitely um, Lawrence Matthews I'm in San Francisco I'd love to have been in Hong Kong if the call is for me I'm not in if the call is for me, I'm not in. Ah, right. I don't know what that means, Gary. Sorry, I've missed a, a couple of messages, obviously. Um, Mac Pollen is in. Good morning to you. Um, Imran Chowdhury, some of the old high supply coins that made um, people millions in the last 2017 bull run are right at the same position before they exploded. Verge, Sia, etc. Mark Twain said history rhymes right. We'll see if Verge and Sia go back up as well. Same with Ripple as well. Um, Satoshi Sean, AdBank is advising the UN on blockchain. Yeah, I've seen that news as well. So there's lots of um, good stuff coming out with AdBank and some of the smaller ones. And I've been looking at um, some of them. Who was mentioning it was CryptoDon1? I'm just going to take a look at this because I've seen it this morning. And I've seen this before, Morpheus Labs. Um, but Morpheus Labs, it kind of looked at as well. And I really like the look of this. 
1.4 million market cap, 123,000 volume, 205 circulating supplies, so about 30% ish of the total supply, which is good. It has been as high as 10 million market capitalization and the price 758 Satoshi. Currently it's 178 Satoshi just now. Um, chat, just look at the chat. And they've got 11,000 members, which is good. I'd like to see that as well. And where are they? And the website, I've not looked at the, the website recently. So this is telling you, oh, so they have updated the website since I kind of last looked at it. So Morpheus Labs uh, looks like to um, be a good one as well. So check that out, go deeper into that as well. Ah, Gath Passage, your phone rang. So if it's not for, right, so this is the time delay as well. <laughs> right, I'm with you. <laughs> uh, criminals double spend Bitcoin in Canada, say on 200k from crypto ATMs on oh, Nightmare. Um, have you ever bought any BTC from a BTC ATM, Steve? No, I haven't. I've never bought BTC from a, an ATM. Uh, yeah, sorry, Gareth. <laughs> Didn't have a scooby what you're talking about there. Right, we'll just go back to BTC, see what's happening. BTC, no. Can I keep doing that? BLX, we're going to uh, look at. 3878, just now. It's not really changed much at all. Not changing. Three eight five two. And just go to XRP price as well. I'll go to XRPH. Yes, now I've still got that open position on Bitmex. Eight one three three. And it's gone up slightly. And we'll go to XRP BTC. So XRP kind of jumped up yesterday as well. So still in that kind of triangle, that symmetrical triangle formation. Uh, it's going to break out um, today or tomorrow. So we'll see where it's going to go. My kind of hope, obviously, is that it's going to break up the way, but it could equally break down the way. Um, Imran Chowdhury, Brock Pierce predicts blockchain to be prepared by gamers, STOs and dApps. Excellent. I didn't see that. And Lawrence Matthews, Steve mentioned very safe. Might be worth a look at for a new low cap if you have time. Um, very safe. Oh, bugger. I can't remember that actually. <laughs> can't remember what can I so I can't even remember if I did do that, uh, Lawrence. Hmm. Did I mention very safe? I can't even remember. Right, I think that's it for today. I think we'll leave it there. And I'm just gonna have a look at another one, just see what's kinda of happening. LRC. Now oh, that's 1652, it's starting to go back up again. This is one of the 70 percenters. So 1652, we'll have a look at HC, BTC. And this could go up as well. What's it doing? 34370, starting to go up again after it's kind of retracement. And 0AX, open ANX, 3860. That's going up in the right direction as well. So still looking good for those kind of predictions. But remember, do your own research. Always do your own research. And if you've not done so already, pick up some pre-crypto um, from the new exchange um, from Bitstack. That's not even coming up. From Bitstack, just pick up some crypto from there as well. You can get yourself free crypto. I'll get free crypto as well. Support the channel. There's a link down below. Um, I think you get about a thousand just for signing up or something like that. A thousand for signing up. Another four thousand for kind of verifying your KYC. Um, but remember, it is in um, kind of Hong Kong, Hong Kong based as well. Um, so just remember that. Um, okay, Gath Passage, you're saying thanks, Steve. 
A big one to keep your eye on in future tip, Polkadot is going to be huge, it's been tipped by many in the industry. Imran will take a look at that as well, I've heard about that um, as well. Okay, I'm going to leave it there, um, XZC, a gas passage, I'll leave it there just now and I'll bid you a farewell and I'll see you tomorrow, same time, same place. Until then, namaste, take care, bye now.